Hey guys, Quakey here from Gridit, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add colors to your grids using Logo Grid Generator. So we have the logo here. If we just generate all, what an amazing grid, and then you just go to layers. So here we have the layers, we have anchors, handles, grid lines, outlines, then we have the base layer, which is where your logo is. Your logo is actually hidden under this, so you can just remove whenever you want. So for example, if we want to change the, let's actually add a background color to make it more noticeable. Let's do, let's do a blue. So I'm just going to go to the base layer and just add blue. So we have blue here and I'm just going to take this blue, copy it. So cool. Now we have the base layer blue. So if we want to change the outline, so the outline is actually the logo itself after it's been generated. So let me just actually delete the logo on the base layer. So we have the outline here. So if we just, so with, with the outline, sorry, because it's simple, you can just simply select the logo and let's paste the color. But when we paste the color, let's do something like this. Cool. That's fine. That's cool. But when it comes to grid lines, it becomes a bit more tedious because you can't obviously select all the grid lines. You could, you can actually lock this layer, do this, and then all the grid lines are selected, but it's actually an easier way. So simply select the target layer. Not everyone knows about the target layer. Target layer selects everything all in, all in um, a layer. And thankfully each component is generated on different la um, layers. So when that's all generated, you can just go here and let's make this black and all the grid lines are changed to black. And then we could do the same for handles. There's no handles on this, so let's ignore. We do the same for anchors. And if we go to anchors, let's paste that color, but let's do the outline black as well. And that looks pretty cool. change that again sometimes it doesn't adobe doesn't read it so yeah then we have all the components changed and you can see you can just do this for the same and obviously if you just want to play about you can even do edit edit colors invert colors but these are just things that you can do so yeah that's how to change colors in logo grid generator which is a very fast and efficient way